However, papal, Catholic Rome was mysterious and continues to be so. Babylon, in the book of Revelation, is a city and a harlot. Jerusalem, in the same book, is a city and a bride. Babylon is the deceptive lover of earthly kings. Jerusalem is the chaste bride of the king of kings. Now the contrast is between church and church. The faithful church in the apostate church. Apostasy means falling away, falling away from the Lord. In verse 7 of that 17th chapter of the book of Revelation, the angel identified the woman to John. Verse 8, the angel identified the beast. Verse 9, seven heads or seven are the seven mountains on which the woman rides. Verse 18, the woman is that great city which reigns over the kings of the earth. Now, what, what city has seven mountains? That is Rome. So, Revelation. Revelation. We find that the Nazi leadership was mainly Roman Catholic. Hitler and Himmler were greatly influenced by the Jesuits, as was Mussolini, whose father, confessor, was a Jesuit. Hitler said of Himmler, in Himmler, I see our Ignatius de Loyola. Joseph Goebbels was also Jesuit educated, as was Walter Schellingberg, who led the SD, or the security service of the SS, and before being sentenced to death in Nuremberg for crimes against humanity, stated that the SS organization had been constituted by Himmler according to the principles of the Jesuit order. Their regulations and the spiritual exercises prescribed by Ignatius of Loyola were the model Himmler tried to copy exactly. The lesson and warning of history is that undemocratic regimes whose leaders owe allegiance to the Pope or practice the lofty principles of the papacy pose a threat to individual liberty and carry out religious persecution. For example, the Inquisition that we read about in history, some of our history books, was alive and well in the Balkans in the 1940s. Their motto, convert or die, was the choice of the offer to 900,000 Orthodox Serbs in the new state of Croatia, which was run by Nazi puppet Anton Pavlich and Roman Catholic primate Archbishop Alois Stefanak. 200,000 were, quote, converted. <clears throat> However, 700,000 preferred to die, were tortured, shot, burned or burned alive. This appalling persecution carried out mainly by Eustachia priests and friars for the triumph of Christ in Croatia included many of the worst atrocities of the war. Certainly the mutilations were horrific, the savagery, savagery terrible. Few people know today what took place in Croatia during the Second World War. News of it has simply been suppressed. 
nor do they understand what happened in the Balkans in the 1990s. The reestablishing of Croatia as an independent state during the disintegration of Yugoslavia in the 1990s is instructive. The European Union, which we talked about some weeks ago in our Foundation of the Word, led by Germany, ignored the protests of Britain and many other nations in pressing for this to happen. The Vatican was the first to recognize the reborn Croatia. Writing in September 1991 in the Sunday Telegraph, historian Andrew Roberts 